wondered, just how much is J. Cole making from his projects on Spotify? We calculated the amount given the Spotify payout rate of 0.00437 payout per stream, and factoring that with the industry standard artist payout of 18%. Well, let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to the dark side of YouTube. I'm your host Isasin also known as Asian Luka Doncic, today discussion is, how much J. Cole made from Spotify. Keep in mind that is just an approximation, J. Cole more than likely has a better deal than the industry standard average. Also, this does not take into account his revenue from YouTube, Apple Music, or joint collaborations income from anything else Dreamville related. Cole World. The sideline story made $798,049 in 1,014,555,754 streams. This is J. Cole's debut studio album. It follows an impressive three mixtape run and helped lay the foundation for his career. The features included are from Drake, Jay Z, Trey Songs, and Missy Elliott. Born Sinner made $1,047,902 in 1,332,192,561 streams. J. Cole's sophomore album dropped on the same day as Kanye's Yeezus and managed to only sell 30k copies less first week, 297,000 in total. 2014 Forest Hills Drive made $2,435,582 in 3,096,341,643 streams. J. Cole set a new bar with this project. It had been 25 years in the game of rap since someone had gone platinum on a project with no features. This album went on to be certified double platinum by RIAA in 2016 and had been nominated for numerous awards including the Grammys. 2014 FHD, live version made $120,568 in 153,277,544 streams this is something that more artists should follow trend. Not only is this a more genuine and intimate experience than a studio recorded album, but it was also a preview as to the energy that is felt between a legend and the town he was raised in. By releasing the live version he was also able to bring in another $100,000 plus. Everybody Dies False Profits made $85,337 in 108,488,254 streams these are two singles that could not have been better in timing. From these two records Cole has brought in nearly another $100,000 with ease. Part of these records success can be attributed to the shots that were made by J. Cole ruthlessly toward his colleagues in the rap game. For Your Eyes only made $1,069,854 in 1,360,099,590 streams. J. Cole's fourth studio album that was released unexpectedly for pre-order with just a week notice before officially dropping. In 2017, Cole claimed the accolade of going platinum twice with no features with this project. High for Hours made $40,571 in 51,577,689 streams. This song was in a lot of summer playlists and brings back a lot of nostalgia associated with it. Cole recounts his experience meeting President Obama and nonchalantly touches on other subject matter close to him. KOD made $1,073,388 in 1,364,591,364 streams. KOD sold 397k units first week and earned J. Cole his fifth consecutive number one album in the country. Album of the Year, Freestyle, made $41,928 in 53,302,996 streams. This is where J. Cole officially puts on the, the offseason, co-sign. Cole premiered this video on World Star Hip Hop where it has over 16 million views to this day. Middle Child made $590,071 in, 750,155,000 streams. This song was supposed to be on the offseason according to Cole, but I think he played his cards right by releasing it during the time he did. He gave the game a reassurance that was still hungry and ready to take on anyone that he thinks is out of line. The offseason made $249,877 in 317,667,471 streams. J. Cole's latest project moved over 282k units in its first week. 
This is also the first time Cole had broken the trend of no features, where he allowed Lil Baby and 21 Savage to rap alongside him on the project. In total, J. Cole have made $7,553,129 in $8,237,658,502 Spotify streams. J. Cole has done more than well for himself bringing in over 7M alone from just Spotify, attempting to take account of all his other avenues of revenue would be nearly impossible due to the professionalism that Cole maintains. That's all from me, feel free to comment down below what's your takes and perhaps you can recommend me who's the next artist that I should check their bank account on Spotify. Hit the like or dislike button to rate this video. Thanks for watching and please don't cry, I'll see you in the next video. Bye nerds.